Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video we are going to be having some fun decorating um, and elevating some glass eggs that uh, I purchased from Michael's. This sort of came out of nowhere. I was not planning on doing this at all. I, I went into Michael's the other day and purchased some stickers that I wanted to put on my best friend's card because her birthday it it's actually today happy birthday dar <laughs> anyhow um i went in there to get some special stickers um to place on her card and there was easter there so of course i had to stop and take a little look see and i came across these glass eggs and I thought to myself, please open, please open, please open. And when they did, I just, I immediately knew that I was going to age them. Um, and then my, my mind, you know, just started going here and there, what to put in them. So that is what I will be sharing with you today. Um, elevating glass eggs. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so I have these um, in different groupings. To the far left, those have already been um, aged. This is what we started with, this glass egg. It has silver. Um, it is, I'm trying to get this focus, by Ashland. Um, I do, I believe I should, yes, here we go. On the back, it's the number up on the left. It is the 735685 number. Um, when you are calling around to the stores, these are very hard to come by. They have them in three different colors, clear, pink, and blue. But there's only like five of each. And if you try to go online, well, they get to choose what one. It's like an assortment of what they give you. Um, and it was very important that I had the clear. And as you can see, it's all silver. And that's cute. I, I like it. But I wanted to age it. A little bit and that is what we're going to do and and I will I'll, I'll do like a little um, you know the, the setting them up um, I'm very limited on what I can use over here right now because everything's getting packed up so I just placed tape on the outside uh, around the egg just to make it easier um, for cleanup I have this rub and buff that I will be using antique gold now, with the rub and buff, you know, well, first here, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is just the rub and buff going on the edges, the inside and the outside. And then also the little caps, I took them off and painted them as well. Let's see if I can, if you can see, it's kind of hard with the lighting. So the one up at top has been aged. It's not such a... Um, you know, uh, a strong, there's a, a certain word, it's not coming to me, a uh, gold color. But this is the wax I use. It can be purchased at Michael's. It used to be able to be purchased in store, but not now. You have to go online. And that's what ages everything. So again, plain egg, then I tape it, then I put the rub and buff, and then I age with the glaze. Okay, I'm not going to use this ribbon. I decided to use a different one. I will be sharing that later on. And rub and buff, make sure, you know, to give it a good squeeze um, to mix all the oils and everything together. Because if you don't, if you do not squeeze this tube, when you do, when you open it up, just all the oils are going to come out. And your paint is going to dry quickly on you. It's not going to be any good. Now, the way I love doing this is with my fingertip. It's the easiest way. But because I need to have more um, control because we do have some grooves in this um, design, I decided to go ahead and use a brush 
And I mean, I have to do the caps as well. But again, the best way rub and buff for me is with a, a fingertip. I'm just gonna, going to use an old paintbrush. And again, I taped all around the egg to make it easier you know, for the cleanup, because if not, it would get all over the glass egg. So here goes the transformation. Now, for many of you that like the silver, great. It's going to be an easier project for you. It just took me a little time. I'm working on this little tray. It's just a mess. Okay, so just quickly, I go over, you know, the inside of the egg and the outside of the egg two times. So I won't show you both times, but, you know, I'm making sure to get into all these different grooves in here because what we're trying to do is cover up as much as the silver as possible. If a little shows through, that's perfectly fine. It gives it more of an aged look and feel when you have different, you know, colors peeking through. So I do one coat and then I go back and do another. And again, as you can see, the tape is really going to help here. Because one thing you do not want to have to try to take off the glass is rub and buff. So see how fast that was? They're all painted twice. <laughs> I'm quick. So here's the wax. And again, you used to be able to buy this storefront now you can find it online um, or at Michael's. I believe I do have a link for my in my Amazon storefront for this wax. I'll take a look. And then you just go over all the gold parts with the wax and just one time. And then with the piece of tissue, just dab it, dab it, dab all over it. And it just gives that warm, um, vintage aged look. So as you're watching me do this, I want to mention really quick because several of you have gotten a hold of me about the Home Depot um, three tiered tray. Now what I'm going to do, I, I will link it in my video. It is out of stock, but um, I, th I think it's by Litton. Oh, I could be wrong. But it, anyhow, what I'm going to do, I will post it in this video. Um, and then you'll see that it's out of stock. And they say to be, um, there's a box there that you can check for them to notify you when more come in. So they have not been discontinued because they are saying that they will notify when more come in. Okay, so now we have all of our eggs nice and, and aged. And I want to, let's go ahead. Do I share it now? Let's see. <laughs> I, I don't remember a lot of times. I'm going to take the tape off so you can see what a helper the tape can be. It just really, I mean, there's little touches of glaze that have to be wiped off and, and that's nothing. You just really want to protect the glass from that rub and buff. And here we have an aged glass egg. And now, okay, how many of you have ornaments and the tops come off? I'm gonna share a real easy way 
And how old was I when I learned this, when I figured this out? Well, right now, okay? So you squeeze this at the bottom and you just push the cap down because our ornaments tend to be glass, right? And sometimes the tops break when we put it in. You just put it right here and then look, it just opens up and goes right in. And I love this so much, this technique so much, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to share it again <laughs> because it's wonderful. I have broken many ornaments up at the top because of this. So let me get this. You squeeze the tips together and you push down the cap all the way to the end. Because what happens is those two little arms, see how they spring out? That's what breaks the glass. But when you push the cap back, when you push it down there, it doesn't move. And it just slips right in. And it just gently opens up inside the ornament. Ta-da! That, so that's a neat little hack there for the glass ornaments. So now I'm going to clean everything up. Uh, all my eggs are nice and clean and we are going to fill them here with some of my dried rosebuds. I've shared these some time back. I still have them. I love working with these. I will put a link in my description box uh, for these rosebuds. And they're just a wonderful botanical to work with. And I have here um, a fabric knot, a wool braid. Well, not a braid, a knot. And it is by Creative Co-op. I did purchase this from Maryfield Garden. Um, if I can find this, I will link it. There's several different colors. I just sort of gravitated to the green. And it's just, it, it's ribbon. It's just fabric that has been cut into very thin pieces. And that is what I will use to hang the ornaments today. It's all about elevating the egg, right? That's what we're doing. See this little tray I'm having to work on? Ugh. So I'm grabbing some moss out of the bag and just tucking it down in. But look, you'll see. I don't know how many of you noticed what I've done wrong so far. <laughs> I put it in the wrong side. <laughs> That's the top. I need to put it in the bottom. I'm telling you, my mind is everywhere. So moss at the bottom. And then adding these, I'm telling you, you really have to use dexterity when you're working on a little small tray with these rolling glass eggs. And then, so you just put in however many roses that you think is going to work. But then when you close the egg, then you'll see, okay, how much higher, you know, do I want to go with the roses? So see, these are still tucked down quite low. But it's going to be just darling. I love this look. So then what I decided to do is add more roses onto the other side of the egg because um, it would just be easier when it comes time to close things back up. See, there's a little stem from the rose. <laughs> Whoop. Sticking out, I get so much better after this first egg. And here we have a little botanical rose and moss glass egg.
And here I decided to place in, you all know how I love to work with my old clocks and clock faces. And here I have these old watch faces. And I decided, well, since it's springtime, let's make a vintage time watch, right? I mean, time egg. By placing in some of these watch faces. And many of them were purchased off of eBay. I just do a search for, um, I like to buy them in a lot. So just put in um, watch face lots. And it's as sweet as can be. I didn't want any moss because I don't want it getting all up into the mechanics of the watch faces. But just look at it next to the Rose Botanical. It's so sweet. So fill the eggs with whatever it is you love, right? I wanted to work with roses and the watch faces. And now, of course, with some faux berries. These would even look darling if you had dried. But I don't. <laughs> so we'll use faux today. So I have a couple watch eggs and uh, I think like three or four um, rose eggs. And now I will be making four berry glass eggs. You could fill these with candy, um, I wanted to go find some small little golden foil wrapped chocolates to place in. Excuse me, that would be absolutely darling. I mean, the you could fill them with different vintage buttons. How cute would that be? So I'm going to fill this one up a little bit more with moss. And I'm sure every year these will change. Now see this one, the lid. It's having a little bit of difficulty closing, so I will just work with the front clasp, just so that it'll be a little bit tighter. But how, how fun are these? Having a glass egg that opens is everything, and the price was so reasonable. Just pull a piece down and then I cut it off. Now these berries, oh, they were purchased, I believe, from Maryfield Garden. I'm telling you, I really, really, really need to start going to market and purchasing my own florals so that I can put them up on my site and you all can can purchase them for your craft projects it really bothers me that you know some of these items that i share um you're unable to get okay so i have all of the eggs filled and now i have this ribbon i love it because it's just very um you know it has that old shabby chic you know boho look and feel to it you know that little that gypsy look and i i love a top of a touch of that gypsy look for certain and it just goes perfectly see look that egg almost rolled off i would have cried okay so we're gonna work again i'm very limited with what i have um, right now to work with. Um, I have this gold um, tree stand that was purchased off of Facebook Marketplace some time back. 
I do have some of these um, in my Amazon storefront for those of you that might be interested in purchasing one similar to this. This is one area that hasn't been completely taken down and, and packed up. Okay, so I decided to put it inside of one of Robin King's um, waste paper baskets. Now, I'm not quite sure if she still has any more of these left, but the print she definitely has. And I do know that she has these um, tins that she could possibly put this image on. Um, so if you want, contact Robin King. I will link her below. So RobinKingDesigns.com. And uh, she's really good at getting back with everyone. And uh, make sure to put the little blue fly in her coupon code box so that you receive a kind discount. But what I... Uh, this yellow. I mean, it's everything. Everything um, on this piece of artwork by Robin. And I decided to, I have a few of these faux boxwoods here um, that I decided to place in. I also put a moss stem going up the center. So I added a few of the boxwoods down at the bottom to give it some extra color, some depth, all that fabulous interest that we love. And what spring without a nest? This nest was purchased some time back and I'm not sure from where, but they're everywhere. And I placed it up at top and added in another boxwood going up the center. So down at the bottom and going up the center and then a little bird's nest and we have still have the little gold twirlies going about. And I decided up at the top, I will add a stem of berries. Just one little simple stem. And then I eventually work just a little bit going down the center. And now I'm just going to add all of these different elevated glass eggs about on the golden tree. I hope you all enjoyed um, elevating these glass eggs with me today. And I look forward to spending time with you again in the upcoming videos. I will be trying to post every Sunday and I will update you more on what is taking place as we know. We know nothing else at this time. If we did, I would tell you all. <laughs>